Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install the official MyUI Ice Cream Sandwich ROM on your Motorola Photon 4G. It is now official, supported at the MyUI website, so uh, very exciting there. Um, first of all, what you're going to need to do is make sure you're unlocked. You do need to be unlocked, so obviously 4G is not going to work with the ROM, but uh, you also need to have Clockwork Mod. Don't use Twerp Recovery. Make sure you do have Clockwork Mod uh, 5.0.2.7 or um, Joker's Recovery. So if you don't have either of those, I will link to a zip. You can flash through your current recovery to uh, make sure that you do have a correct uh, version of Clockwork Mod Recovery. So what you're gonna first need to do is obviously make sure that, and then go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. And once you click on the link in the description, it's gonna take you to this website. First of all, shout out and thanks to Spleef, um, guy that uh, ported this over for us. So big shout out to him. Also a shout out to Joker as well as uh, The Bill. So shout out to Spleef and The Bill for porting this over and Joker for, uh, they based it off of his CM9 port. So what you're gonna first need to do is scroll down, scroll down, keep scrolling down, and right here, you will see the link. It will take you to roms.myui.us. Click on that, it will take you to the official MyUI site. As I said, it's officially supported. You're gonna have to scroll down, it's in alphabetical order until you get to Motorola, and on the left side here, you'll see Motorola Photon 4G. Click on it, and it will bring up this uh, this link right here. Just click download ROM right here, and that would be it. So make sure you click on that link. It'll be a zip file. Uh, download the ROM. Just transfer that zip file over to your Photon, either your internal storage or external storage, either one. Um, and once you do have that on there, you can go back to your phone. And once you are uh, ready to go, you have the zip file on there, you're going to need to get into our custom recovery. So go ahead and power off your device. We're going to need to get into our clockwork mod or uh, Joker's recovery. As I said, either one, 5.0.2.7 or Joker's recovery works. Uh, once it powers off to get into our custom recovery, we're going to need to press and hold volume down and power button at the same time. Keep them held down until you see fast boot up at the top, then you can go ahead and let go. Now press the volume down button a bunch of times until you see Android recovery light up like that, and then press the volume up button to select it. And then what that's going to do is go ahead and take you into your custom recovery, your clockwork mod recovery. Um, right now, as you can see, I have 5.0.2.7, which will work, along with Joker's recovery, so either of those will work. Um, keep that in mind. Anyways, now to install this ROM, what we're going to need to do is actually go ahead and follow this process. Um, sorry about the, uh, the focusing. I don't know why it's not focusing. Uh, sorry about that, guys. But what we're going to need to do is go to first backup and restore. I highly recommend making an Android backup before you install this ROM just to ensure that... Uh, um, you have a backup in case anything goes wrong. Then once uh, once done making that backup, go to, uh, you're gonna need to go to mounts and storage actually. So go to mounts and storage, select it with the power button, and then once you are in mounts and storage, what you're gonna need to do is go down to format system. So format system and select that. This will wipe all your data and everything, so keep that in mind when installing this ROM that uh, data will be completely wiped. So make sure you back everything up with titanium backup, everything you need such as apps, contacts, etc. Um, the wiping process is gonna take a long time. On the Photon, it does take a while, so be patient when you're formatting all this stuff. And once system is done formatting, go down to Format Data, and select it with the power button, and then press Yes, Format. So format your data as well, which is gonna take a while again, so be patient with that. All right, and once it's done formatting your data, go down to Format Cache. We're not done yet, almost done. Hit Format Cache and then hit yes format. This one shouldn't take as long as data and the other one did, but it will take a decent amount of time, so uh, be patient with that as well. All right, and once cache is done formatting, we're almost done, go back, and then go to the advanced menu, select advanced, and then hit wipe Dalvik cache, and hit yes, wipe Dalvik cache. So once that's done, we are ready to go. So our wiping is complete. Now go ahead and go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card or internal SD card, wherever you have that zip file, and then go ahead and find that my UI uh, zip file and select it and then hit install. So it'll go ahead and install the my UI ROM itself. And once done, we will almost be done actually. So don't reboot yet once it's done installing. Just be patient with the install process. It will take a bit of time. I will be back once it's done though. 
All right, so that didn't take long at all, I actually. Install from SD card complete, that didn't take long, but we're not done yet, so what we're gonna now need to do is hit go back, and then go to the advanced menu once again, and then hit reboot recovery. So select reboot recovery, and what that's gonna do is go ahead and reboot your device back into your clockwork mod recovery. So go ahead and let it do its thing again, it should reboot you into your custom recovery. And as you can see, takes you back into your custom recovery. And now just go ahead and go back to install zip from SD card and choose zip from SD card or internal SD card and select the ROM zip again and install it again. So that's uh, pretty much it. So once this is done, we can go ahead and reboot and we will be running the MyUR ROM. I'm not sure if it's gonna go as quick as last time. My guess is it won't because last time it went really quickly before you hit reboot recovery. So anyways, be patient with the second install process because I'm guessing that will take a little bit longer and I will be back once it's done. All right, and as you can see, install from SD card complete. That means we are done. So go ahead and just hit uh, go back and reboot system now. We can now go ahead and reboot our phones. So that would be the process that is needed to go through to install the ROM. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys check out the boot animation, but I'm going to be doing a separate review video of this ROM, so be sure to check that out. I will link to that in the description of the video. But let's go ahead and check out the boot animation. All right, so there you have it. MyUI.us boot animation, very cool there. And that would be it. So that's how you install the Ice Cream Sandwich MyUI ROM on your Motorola Photon 4G. Be sure to check out my review video. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.